In this video, we're giving an example of how Raspberry Pi can be used to synchronize Christmas lights to full MP3 audio. Now, it's a bit of a hack because the MP3 audio is not actually what the lights are sequenced to. They're actually being sequenced to a MIDI file. Uh, what we have here is the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the 256 megabyte board. Got the Wi-Pi module for wireless. Got audio out here. Using the ribbon cable provided from Adafruit, and we've actually just been off some of the ones we're not using, and connected several of the GPIO pins to this SaneSmart 8-channel solid-state relay board. Uh, we have 8 GPIOs connected here, one to ground, and then here we have a 5-volt power supply in ground. Now what's going to happen is we play the MIDI file to this program called Light Organ, which you can find in the video description. That program is actually going to be sequencing the lights. Uh, these LEDs here indicate when the relays would trigger on and off. And we're just going to use that for the example. In the final version, each of these relays would actually be hooked up to an AC circuit, so you can control anything that does 110 volt electricity here, in our case Christmas lights. And what we do is at the same time as we launch that MIDI, we're actually launching an MP3 of the same song. So on the audio out, we're actually getting a full MP3 quality sound, whereas only the MIDI is actually being played here. Okay, and I'm actually just logged in over SSH to the Pi here, and I actually launch the light organ program, wait about a half a second to make sure it's launched, and then play a script, which is simply A play MIDI, playing the MIDI file, and then MPG123 actually playing the MP3 file. Alright, that should be enough to provide a good example there. Now, as you can see from the video, all eight LEDs are not actually lighting up. Uh, since this was just for testing, I just have Light Organ compiled to use six GPIOs. You can actually adjust that and see the Light Organ page for that. Also, you may have noticed that when there's purely drum track playing, there's nothing going on. And again, that's just the default for Light Organ does not assign anything to the drum track for the MIDI can change that as well, and I might do that in the future. Uh, everything you need for this should be found in the video description. If you have any other questions, just make a comment.